All right, this is going to be a mass spring system demonstration in a horizontal plane. So first, this is our setup. You're going to have two ends at the end on the track. You're going to have a cart. You're going to have a motion sensor, but that is going to be aligned on top of this uh, end stop because we're going to measure the velocity of the cart with a credit card or any paper that you're going to put here. So whenever it moves around it, it is going to be able to measure the velocity of the cart. And then we're going to need two springs. So, and these are already like color coded and you can see that these both are like red. So, and it's important that they are, they have the same uh, constant. So what are we going to do? We're going to uh, attach those to the cart. And that is going to take a while. attach one end and then we need to attach the other one to the other end and all right and once we attach these two we're going to have the other ends and we're going to mount those to the top of those and here's the other one and now as you see our card is in the equilibrium right now and it's in, the, uh, it's in the middle. So to be able to measure uh, the amplitude, the effect of amplitude in the uh, period, so we have our graph. So we're gonna set it up to velocity time graph. And then I'm going to record it. Before we record it, we need to make sure that we have the cart so it measures the velocity of the cart. And then we started to record it, and then we're going to put it to some amplitude. And you can see that it is have a good sinusoidal wave. All right, from here, you can you can see the amplitude by looking at the time, and then you're going to do the same thing with a different uh, x value. So I have. Uh, pulled it to 80 and then we're going to put it to 90 and then whenever you look at the timeline you're going to see that both amplitude uh, I mean the theories are going to be the same and then we're going to test the mass the effect of the mass and then we have our masses here so we're going to put one of the mass on top of the uh, cart and then we're going to do the same thing uh, since the amplitude doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter where you pull it, so you're just going to pull it to, uh, to some distance, and then now you're going to measure the amplitude, I mean the period. So you're going to see that since mass doubled, the amplitude will be changing according to the equation and it will slow down.